We found Bigfoot. The mystery is solved. He exists. <laughs> Cheers. Or as they say in Germany, Prost. Guten Tag. It's Oktoberfest in Leavenworth. They go all out since they're a Bavarian-inspired town. I'm talking about beer, pretzels, bratwurst, lederhosen, traditional dancing, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, my name is John. I cover everything tra travel-related. And if you enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for future adventures. Now, let's raise a glass and enjoy Oktoberfest in Leavenworth. Every Saturday during the Oktoberfest season is kicked off with a march right down Front Street to the Fest Hall. The people are dressed in Bavarian attire. You have visitors, locals, Alphorns, and so much more, but we're excited for the march to begin. We made it to Fest Hall and we're excited to start our journey. Obviously they have beer, food, some vendors. Kinderplatz is right by us, but we're gonna start with a nice cold beer. Oktoberfest was started in 1810 by the future King Ludwig. He was getting married and he wanted to throw a huge party for the whole town. Obviously the festivities have continued on. Fortunately, we have one of the six original beers that was served during the Oktoberfest in Germany. Of course, we're gonna definitely try that out later, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, we have this local brewery, Fest Beer. Cheers, or as they say in Germany, Prost. We officially tapped the beer, so now we can drink. Yay! If you've got a beer in your hand, raise it high. We'd like everyone here to join us in a toast to open up Oktoberfest. Heinz, Stein, Dry, Of course, during the festivities, they have a lot of different uh, activities or games, and we just witnessed the beer styling holding competition. I have to say, kudos to those competitors as they were over 55. 
very impressive. The winner for the guys' competition over five minutes, holding five and a half pounds of beer. Impressive. The cups that you're given are compostable, and they make over 45,000 cups just for this Oktoberfest. So it's a great way to have a beverage and feel like you're helping out the environment. So let's uh, put these away and grab another. So for our next drink, we got the Palmer Marzen, which is one of the first beers they had at the first Oktoberfest. So let's take a sip. Perfect. It's a nice classic Oktoberfest. Right next to Fest Hall is a street fair with unique boutique shops that are really cool to see. So in addition to shopping downtown Leavenworth, you can really experience all these really cool shops. So let's take our beer and explore. How do I look? German? Yes. <laughs> of course, one of the most iconic foods is a bratwurst. Let me get some nice sauerkraut and some mustard. I think we're ready to dive in and enjoy a nice broth. Let's dive in. I'm absolutely starving. Mm. That's really good. It's a nice bratwurst. Mustard adds some flavor to it. And of course, you gotta have sauerkraut with it. Kinderpost is a fun-filled kid adventure. They have a climbing wall, Ferris wheel, other games, and it comes with your ticket. Or if you're not feeling, you know, you want to be part of the normal Oktoberfest, you can pay $10 per person on a Saturday or $5 on a Friday to enjoy non-alcoholic adventure. If you need a little bit of space, you can leave the fest hall. And of course, Front Tree is filled with restaurants, but take my recommendation with this. You're gonna to wanna to make a reservation in advance because they fill up. We can already see crowds of people already eating, and it may be a little bit of a wait if you wanna get some food from there. <laughs> we found Bigfoot. The mystery is solved. He exists. <laughs> when you come to Octofest in Leavenworth, they have three main stages. Fest Hall, Beerzel, and the Gazebo. Fest Hall has your traditional activities like the dancing and pretzel toss. The beer sells like contemporary rock music and the gazebo, yeah, classic polka. But each option is worth exploring on its own. When in Rome, you got to participate in the classic Bavarian dance. You don't just spectate, you got to participate.
slow, folks. Wow. Oh. I, did anyone bring sleeping? Wow. There are two. Two helpful. As we wind down the evening, we have a couple tips. First, obviously be safe. Don't drink and drive. We got here very early, so we got a free parking space. The average price that we saw was about $20. There is a free shuttle that can take you to and from Oktoberfest, but you have to flag it down. That's a great way to uh, conveniently go between Oktoberfest. And of course, having a designated driver is also a good thing to have. Another thing to note is that Oktoberfest ends at 12 p.m., but the gazebo and the beer cell They'll close at 10 p.m. So if you want to celebrate beyond that, you want to get into the fest hall before 10 p.m. as they have a strict policy. Another tip, the Oktoberfest is cash and card free and take our recommendation for it. You can set up an account, that way you can set up a wristband and you can get through security and long lines very rapidly. That wraps up our tour of Oktoberfest. For me personally, the beer, the food, the music, and the activities are well worth the expense, and you can't go wrong with anything you do in Leavenworth. Now we have many more adventures planned, so don't forget to like and subscribe, but until next time, keep on exploring.